How are we all? I feel a bit fresh, I've just had a trim. Men will understand this. When you've got that couple of weeks, uh, well it takes a couple of weeks for me to get a bit of a briss. Sometimes you just need to trim because it gets all itchy and you look like a tramp. I was looking like a bit of a tramp. Right, as per last video, change of format. Um, any subscribers will be mentioned towards the end of the video, unless I forget, which I'll have to redo. And um, uh, the videos are now gonna be shorter because, uh, yeah, as I said in my last video, 20 minutes of me talking is um, <laughs> it's not the best, is it? You must be getting bored after about a minute. So I thought uh, I thought I'd change it, try and do some editing, make the videos more. Um, so I guess the people appreciate them a bit more. And uh, shorten the videos down be uh, will be better viewing for for subscribers, and uh, hopefully it will get me more views. So all good. Um, if you watched the video I did yesterday that I put out. Um, you have to excuse, I didn't get the microphone's level, the, sorry, the microphone level's correct. Um, and it sounded very kind of, you could you could hear that like the mic was at its top end. So hopefully today it'd be a bit better if I've got the microphone level correct. Um, if not, I do apologise. Uh, I'll blame the iPhone. <laughs> Got to blame something, can't you? So... Uh, I've actually got the day off work today. I was supposed to be getting some uh, some ink, a touch up of ink on the old arm for some work I'm getting done. But unfortunately, my artist that I use where I live has um, has done a lateral flow test. Obviously, they have to do it because they're working with the public all the time, and uh, he's tested positive, so I couldn't get it done. So. I'm off work, and I thought, right, what am I going to do? I'll try and do a video. So where are we at? Oh, hello, Mr. Amazon van. Where are we at? Body storage facility in the UK. Body storage facility in the UK. Interesting. So back in June, uh, 2021 the UK government put out a tender so it's like a, a contract or a, an application for someone to come and uh, uh, buy the contract not buy the contract but go for the contract so they can do the work you dickhead um, and this contract or this tender is worth £6 million pounds six million pounds and it's for a body body storage facility in the London borough so basically London um, uh, the details which I will uh, hopefully find again on our friend Google and I'll put them in the description um, the details were for it gives all the details of the tender you know what they expect and, it, and the main part of it is in case of excess deaths. Body storage facility in case of excess deaths. Now, what does that actually mean to me? What does that actually mean to you? I'm not sure. Are they thinking that more people are going to die in the next couple of years of the Rona? Or are more people going to die of something else? Do they know something that we don't know? Very strange, but if I can find the um, uh, the actual tender document, sometimes our friend Google makes things disappear, don't they? So I'll try and find it again and I'll put it in the descriptions. Oh, also, sorry, Uber of the Tube. Disclaimer, it will be in the description. Uh, I'm not gonna read out a disclaimer anymore. And uh, an additional part of the disclaimer, is that to YouTube, our best friend, 
the friend that cancels everything. So yeah, so very interesting UK body storage facility. Um, there's something else I wanted to just go over quickly. Where are we? Oh yeah. You know the crazy conspiracy theorists? Yeah, the nut jobs that have pretty much got most things right over the last couple of years. And they were talking about these camps, quarantine camps, FEMA camps, whatever you call them in the USA. They've obviously been built, all right? And if you don't, if you don't think that's happening, well, it is happening. Uh, Canada have got them. Australia are using theirs in the Northern Territory towards Darwin. And what they're doing, they're putting in, they're putting in the people that have been in contact with people that have had the Rona and uh, and also people I would guess that maybe have got the Rona uh, or even the uh, the unjibbly jab jabbed but Nicola Sturgeon the Scottish what is she the Scottish weasel don't know she's pretty ugly though isn't she I mean no don't just don't say it don't say it Imagine waking up next to her every morning. Whew, you'd have to have a few Stellas to actually uh, have a go, wouldn't you? But anyway, <laughs> Nicola Sturgeon, the power happy Scot as she is, has recently put out uh, a bit of a, you know, would you vote yes, would you vote no, if Scotland were to uh, incorporate these kind of camps into into the Scottish society. I mean, if some countries are already doing it, Canada, Australia, USA have had them for years, by the way, then it's not just them that are doing it. Obviously, other countries are thinking about it, aren't they? They have to be. It's all part of the big plan. It's all part of the big game. I think, I think, uh, the Scottish Prime Minister put it out in um, in one of the the main stream newspapers. I think it might have been the Daily Record or something like that. You have to you have to think and and you have to give it to the uh, the crazy nut job conspiracy theorist. Jesus, I just got taken out by a fucking branch. So I'm nearly blind anyway. You bastard. The crazy conspiracy theorists have got a lot of things right and and it's not as it's not like they're trying to be better than anyone they just see things and they know things are happening and it's really mad isn't it that some people don't see it and some people do you know i wrote something back in and and i'm gutted because i can't find it because it bloody deleted off my phone i wrote something back in 2020 and it's actually I think it was March 2020, just after I had the Rona. I started really kind of looking into things. And uh, I wrote down kind of stages of what I believe is going to be happening over the next couple of years. Some of it was a bit off, but a lot of it was right. A lot of it was right, how I staged it all out. And what it was kind of finally coming towards. And it was obviously finally coming towards the the jibbity jab jabs the control of people, moving into a a, a credit system, digital transformation. And that was back in March 2020, when no one really knew what the hell was going on. I just started looking at things and and researching a bit and and kind of going beyond. And that's all you've got to do. Don't just take what's on your TV screen as gospel. Don't, because that's what they want you to do. Anyway, there you go. A short video today. Hope you enjoyed it. My hand is absolutely freezing because it's like, I don't know, it's about three degrees in the UK at the moment. It's bloody cold and the wind is, uh, well, basically my hand's so cold it's nearly fallen off. I've got frostbite in my two fingers here. Um, Yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. It's a bit shorter today. And I hope uh, the microphone's set a little bit better. 
just a couple of uh, subscribers in the last day. Um, my man Trevor Charlie, <laughs> Trevor's another mate actually, it's quite funny I have a few mates subscribing. Trevor's very much, uh, very much of the opinion of, uh, of myself and um, he's been messaging me recently and uh, saying about the video. So thanks Trevor, thanks for commenting as well, much appreciated. And uh, Jackie, I think it's Jackie Gerritz. Uh, Jackie just recently commented on one of my videos. Thanks, Jackie. Um, recently, Jackie mentioned she's got she's got banned from a FBI book for telling the truth, um, and it seems to be the norm, doesn't it? People are getting banned for talking about the normal things, um, and that's just the way everything is in the moment. Censorship. So thanks, uh, Jackie, for commenting. Thanks for subscribing. It's much appreciated. I hope you enjoy the videos. I just hope the uh, the microphone situation sorted because my last video was a bit was a bit poor quality. But um, yeah, cool. I'll be back for some more. Enjoy. Remember, don't get drawn into the bullshit. And always keep it real. See you later.